Hi and welcome in this video. Today I will show you how to create some sparkling water. Sparkling water. So um, I will create some bubble in my water in a glass. So uh, I will start uh, with Cinema 4D. I will use uh, Octane Render, but uh, it's a tips available for all uh, render stuff. Okay. Uh, so the first thing that I have to do is to load a glass. Uh, you can download it on uh, Google or uh, select one glass on your Mediatek. I choose uh, this one. Okay, select it and I will reduce my face. My cap. Mm. Okay, I will edit my uh, object and make it bigger. Okay, I think it's nice. I will remove these materials and create an octal materials. A specular one. Okay, that's nice. So now um, we have to create, uh, to fill this object with some water. So I have to create another glass. I will rename it glass. I click, drag and hit control then uh, Okay, uh, to create my water. I use uh, the shortcut U then L to select a loop. So I take polygon on U L and I click on my uh, polygon loop inside my glass. Okay, I hit Maj or Shift and I select the other loop, polygon loop. Okay. All. That's nice. Uh, I selected the polygon that I want to uh, keep, so I use the shortcut UI to invert my selection. I delete all my uh, polygon, all the other polygon. If you hit sup, uh, you will have lots of points around your objects, so you have to right click and then optimize your mesh, and uh, it will be okay. Now uh, I think my water is uh, too high. Uh, my, I don't want my glass so uh, fill so full. So I just select the loop of my uh, edge. I double click on one edge and uh, magic. And then I use my green gizmo to down uh, the top of my water. I hit T to selection my uh, my uh, scale object, my scale gizmo, and I. We just eat a little. It's not uh, bad if your water don't go very very near uh, your glass, but it's uh, very bad if it go through your glass. So I prefer a little bit, a little um, more little than more larger. Okay, uh, I have to fill my uh, my mesh, so I select polygon mode right click and I uh, close a polygon, polygon hole and I click on my polygon hole. Okay, that's nice. For a better result, we have to create a bevel on uh, your top, on the top of your water. So uh, right click and bezo, I don't know the English word, be uh, bevel. Okay, and you have to create a little bevel Okay, a little one. Okay, I think I think it's nice. Okay, uh, now uh, I have I have to create. I I prefer create now a better material for my glass. Okay, so glass. Okay, glass and water. Okay. So I double click and hit on it and I will create a medium with an absorption look octane absorption medium. Uh, I select a color with the RGB spectrum to choose the color I want to see uh, through my glass. RGB spectrum. Okay, and I want to see some blue. That's nice, but it's too deep. The density is too high, so I just have to put it to three and you have a very nice result. 
Okay, if you don't know how to use Octane, uh, we have some uh, Anglo-English uh, person who buy our tutorial on uh, tuto.com. It's in French, of course, but some people like it. So you write Octane. Okay. Octan and uh, my friend did this one a six hour of tutorial for Octan Lander and uh, the English people who uh, watch it will like it because it's very visual okay you uh, you see what I do and uh, you will uh, learn uh, some tips and you have uh, some render it's a very very nice uh, uh, render octane render is very very nice okay so now we have to create some bubble in our water the tips is that I will use I hide my glass for uh, for the workflow uh, I will use some sphere sphere uh, to have my bubble okay I will use it with a t-shirt cord and uh, I will use a cloner with MoGraph to fill this object. So I put my sphere on my cloner and I will use the mode object. Now my cloner, uh, is that in English? Translate. Yeah, my cloner. Uh, wait the object. So I will not use uh, this water because uh, I have to have this object, but little, uh, little, 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 un peu moins long. a little less fat. Uh, so I click, hit control and drag it, okay, for cloner, and I will put it in my cloner. Now I have all my sphere on each point of my object. So I, uh, I will reduce the height of my sphere. First thing, okay. Really little bubble, little sphere, nice. And I will change the mode. I will not uh, choose a point for the distribution, but the volume. And now we have all my bubbles in in my water. I will use X-Ray for the previsualization and for that I just have to uh, destroy the texture for my mesh. Okay, now we, ha now we have our, uh, all our bubbles. So we have to reduce uh, the size of this object if you have some bubble out. Okay, you reduce a little and uh, all will be fine. And with the white. And you can increase the number, of course, of your bubble. Like. Uh, okay, nice. I will reduce a little the size of this uh, object because I have some bubbles uh, out of my water, but just in y axis. Did I use yes? Ah, okay, I'm not in in the great mode. So uh, what I done? Ah, that's shit. Okay, I I am um, I redo for cloner. I put it in my cloner. I go in mesh mode. Okay, then I can reduce it for cloner. Reduce it a little. Okay, perfect. That's nice. Way. Mm. Now um, we don't want to have all uh, the same size for the bubbles. We understand, I think. Uh, so I will use an effector, the randomization effector. So I will. Uh, you have to select your cloner before select your effector. If it doesn't work like that, you have to go in cloner, go in effector menu, and drag your new effector in it. Okay. Mm. Now I will disable um, 
the position effector, I just want the scale effector active. And uh, I will use a uniform uh, scale uh, to one, one is too much. So I will choose the, the great, the great, uh, the great scale difference. Okay, that's nice. I think the one point five five uh, four four it's nice. So now uh, we have a nice result water and and my bubble. We have to have the same textures. And I want to see my glass now in my render. Okay. Uh, the result is a little strange because uh, the refraction of my glass is uh, is bad. What the hell? It's, uh, my glass, okay. And my water, my water is nice. Really, really strange. I, I did it uh, five minutes ago and it was very nice. Okay, and that's the refraction. It's a refraction because when you, we go to the top view, we see all the, the bubble. The, the glass is not, uh, is not very good. Uh, so I will reduce the refraction in index and reduce it. No, it's some water. Yeah, okay. So with tracing, okay. Damn, it's so strange. Okay, so I will take off my water. Okay, uh, I will invert my normal. Reload my scene. And maybe it's better. 1.3, okay. The problem was the normal. They are uh, in the wrong size, wrong size. Okay, that's nice. That's a good one. Uh, now uh, the problem, the problem is uh, that the water is perfectly dish uh, flat. Okay, uh, so we have to create some perturbation on the surface because uh, all bubble. Uh, create perturbation. So we have to model it. Uh, we will use two, two, two techniques. The first is to create a bubble and my water, just on my water. Uh, we'll create a bump uh, to create this modification. So I go on bump and use uh, a noise, well, a basic noise. And now we have this perturbation, okay? That's a nice perturbation, but we'll have uh, another kind of perturbation, wavely, okay? So we'll, we have to create it uh, manually. The default, uh, we have to need, we need two uh, different textures, one for the top with the bump and one uh, for the other, um, other polygons. So I just select the, those polygons Okay, and put my water with the bump, and the other, I put the flat water. Okay, my glass go out. I select this polygon, I use uh, insert extraction. Okay, and um, I just have to click and drag, and I stop it for the first wave. I redo for the second wave. I double click on my first uh, edge and create a bevel and I choose the, the size of my wave, okay? I have to create one subdivision, then I click on my uh, edge loop in the center 
and drag it to the top a little, very little. It will change the reflection, but will not be visible. Uh, but the reflection will be the the affectation to the reflection will be very hard. So we have to create a very little uh, wave. And now we have you have uh, not me but you uh, to create another bevel just for this to smooth uh, your wave and we'll use more more subdivision okay we'll do the same so here we'll use this select tool and i hit control to deselect okay i create my second wave in the same order That's nice. Now we have to create a, a hole in uh, here, so I hit K to the knife tool in boucle. In loop, oh yeah, sorry, in loop. And I hit shift and I select uh, 50. And now I just have to click somewhere in my view to create my loop. Okay, I select it and I drag it to the bottom a little. Okay, and I create another bevel. That's nice. Another one here. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's important to do all the all of this bubble to have a nice water perturbation. Okay, nice. And here the render is better. You have all this wave, and it's more uh, more realistic. Oh, no. it was here better. Okay, uh, and that's all. You have your water, your spark, your sparkling water. It's is that sparkling? Sparkling water. Okay, you have your sparkling water uh, on your desk, and I I find it's a very good render. Uh, it's not bad. It's difficult to animate it. Uh, you have to use some um, effector and some uh, effector and the, and the, 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 those objects uh, to create to manipulate your bubbles. It's uh, it's really boring. I don't experiment it uh, yet, uh, maybe on another tutorial. Uh, if you're English, you can come uh, with us to Motion Designer Community uh, on Facebook. We are uh, French, but some English uh, people are with us. And you can uh, show your result, uh, what you do. If you have some uh, tips or tutorial, you can uh, come and post here and we'll happy to, uh, to work with you. So I hope you like this tutorial. Sorry for my English. Uh, as you can hear, I'm French and all French people are very, very bad. Uh, tell me in the description if, um, if it's okay, if you can understand what I say, if you don't, it's, uh, maybe I will stop uh, the English tutorial, but uh, tell, tell it to us, it's very important, it's very important. Uh, I hope to see you soon and I hope you like it and uh, ciao.